Okay, once you have all your details traced with Sharpie, and make sure you have some extra lines maybe added with your Sharpie just for fun to paint in. These have lots of details on them. There's lots of little double lines and circles and um, different types of designs to make them look very fancy. We are going to paint with warm colors inside the skull. So you're gonna use these very tiny paintbrushes with very small points, and we're gonna use this watercolor paint. Just dip the tip of your brush, make sure you're not using a lot of paint, and we are going to make sure we just paint some of these areas nice and slowly. Make sure you're painting symmetrically so that you have the same colors on both sides and you can paint more than one area if you want. And then when you wanna switch colors, you're gonna rinse out your brush with the water and then you can switch to a different color. And this is kind of a fuchsia, it looks pretty dark, but it's kind of a, a pink color. So you'll get to paint that. And you can leave a lot of it white. So I'm just painting in some of these small areas and you notice how I'm going really slowly kind of around some of my areas to get that color just where I want it. I wanna go back and make it a little darker, I can. If I get too much paint on my brush, it's gonna to start to smear. So I don't want too much paint on my brush. That looks a little bit brighter pink. And since I did this eye this color, I have to do the same thing on this side. So I wanna do the same color on both sides so it is symmetrical. And we're gonna use cool colors for the outside of the skull. And then we'll also use some different kinds of materials to add some interesting kind of designs to the skull. And I'm gonna talk about that next time. This is kind of a fluorescent orange, which is kind of pretty. I'm gonna use some of those areas. And I sometimes have to go back and get another coat on top of it, just so it's a little bit brighter. But I don't want to have too much on top of that so it doesn't get too too um, watery. And then we'll put these in the drying rack and keep working on them next week.